Good evening, I'm Shukri Mohammed, and this is the 11 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to Tunisia's President Al Baji Qaid Asebsi, marking his country's Independence Day, wishing the Tunisian people more progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Russian President Vladimir Putin on his re election for a new term. His Majesty the King wished President Putin success in achieving the ambitions and aspirations of the friendly Russian people for further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the outgoing UAE Ambassador to Bahrain, Abdir Rada Abdel Khouri, accompanied by his wife. During the meeting, His Majesty the King expressed pride in the deep-rooted relations that tie the two countries and continues to solidify all of the fields in a manner that serves bilateral interests and fulfills the aspirations of the people. His Majesty hailed the elevated status of the UAE in the international community, as well as its achievements and comprehensive development at various levels, under the leadership of the UAE's President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty prayed to the Almighty to preserve the UAE's peace, stability, and security. His Majesty the King presented the outgoing ambassador with the Bahrain Medal of the First Class in recognition of his efforts to develop relations between the two and wished him further success. Ambassador Khouri extended sincere thanks, appreciation and honor to His Majesty the King for bestowing the Bahrain Medal on him. He praised the constructive and fruitful cooperation of all sides with him, which he said contributed to the success of his diplomatic mission in Bahrain. He also lauded His Majesty the King's crucial role in enhancing the outstanding cooperation between the two countries. The outgoing ambassador wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity under His Majesty King Hamad's leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad's Global Center for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Idrij Al Khalifa, the Secretary General of the Board, Donna Khamis Al Zayani, as well as the members of the Board on the occasion of their appointments. His Majesty the King commended their competency, expertise and contributions to promote the solid position of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the protection of religious freedom and respect for intellectual and cultural diversity. His Majesty the King affirmed that the establishment of the centre highlights the distinguished role of the Kingdom in promoting the values of coexistence and tolerance and its continued efforts to strengthen dialogue among various cultures and religions. His Majesty noted that the center will also strengthen Bahrain's status on the international level as a global center to host conferences and seminars that aim at reinforcing the culture of peace, coexistence and openness among all cultures, adding that it will reflect the values of respect and closeness of the kingdom and its people. He also affirmed the kingdom's keenness to adhere to its principles of guaranteeing freedom and respecting religions, intellectual and cultural pluralism. His Majesty the King wished the chairman of the board and its members success in carrying out their duties. For his part, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Idrij al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his trust, wishing him abundant health and success.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Bilaybiya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, the Royal Highnesses affirmed the government's ongoing strategy to adopt programs that promote tourism, which aims to create an entertaining atmosphere for citizens and attract more visitors and tourists. The Royal Highness has noted the importance of projects that reinforce Bahrain's commercial, economic, tourist and cultural status, including the exhibition industry. The Royal Highness has reviewed a number of projects that support the economy and aim to develop various areas in Bahrain to meet the aspirations of citizens and acquire more public spaces, walkways and waterfronts. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today at Qatibiya Palace the weekly cabinet meeting. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. On the occasion of Arab Human Rights Day, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the achievements made in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness stressed that the government is continuing to consolidate these achievements and build upon them by respecting human rights, safeguarding their dignity and guaranteeing their freedom. His Royal Highness recalled with pride and appreciation the contributions of His Majesty the King in the human rights field, most notably His Majesty's initiative to establish the Arab Court for Human Rights, which received Arab support and international acclaim.
cabinet approved the ratification of the main system of the economic and judicial authority adopted by the supreme council of the gulf cooperation council which came in line with the vision of the custodian of the two holy mosques king salman bin abdul aziz al saud of saudi arabia the cabinet also approved a draft convention between the bahraini and swiss governments on avoiding double taxation for taxes on income and capital and prevent tax evasion a memorandum of understanding between the Bahraini and Indian health ministries on healthcare cooperation had been approved. The cabinet discussed the reorganization of customs affairs at the Ministry of Interior. The cabinet also approved the government's response on a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives on treating all Hajjaj residents at Hamid Kanu Health Center in East Rafah. The cabinet reviewed a report from the Minister of Education on granting the UNESCO King Hamad Award and identified the results of the International Labour Organization Board of Directors meeting held in Geneva recently. Israel Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to Tunisia's president, marking his country's Independence Day, wishing the Tunisian people more progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Premier also sent a similar cable to Tunisian Prime Minister Yusuf Chahid. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes today to the Russian President Vladimir Putin on his re-election for a new term. His Royal Highness the Premier wished President Putin success in achieving the aspirations of the friendly Russian people for further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to Tunisia's President Baji Qaid Asebsi, marking his country's Independence Day, wishing the Tunisian people more progress and prosperity. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister sent a cable today to Russian President Vladimir Putin on his re-election for a new term. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished President Putin success in achieving the aspirations of the friendly Russian people for further progress and prosperity. The wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Consultative Council of the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, patronized today the inauguration of the permanent farmers market in Hawrat Ali in the presence of a number of officials. On the occasions, Her Royal Highness stressed the National Initiative has endeavoured since its inception to exert all efforts with the relevant institutions in the agricultural sector to consolidate the cooperation in order to promote agriculture in Bahrain and overcome all the challenges that prevent the increase of green areas, giving the Bahraini farmers priority through providing support, training and rehabilitation, and encouraging them to invest in this area. She explained that the success of the seasonal farmers market in the Northern Governorate has contributed directly to working with the concerned parties to establish a permanent market for farmers as a quality platform to promote local products. Her Royal Highness described the new market as a key platform for farmers to exchange expertise and enhance the quality of local products. She commended the efforts of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development and Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, and the Department of Agricultural and Marine Resources, commending Temkin and the Bahrain Development Bank for financing the project. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa urged solutions to ensure the sustainability of national agricultural products and the success of farming projects so as to meet local needs and promote exports.
The permanent farmers market was opened today in the Kingdom of Bahrain with the aim of focusing on local and fresh produce, enhancing the agricultural sector as well as unifying efforts to ensure the forward march of the country. We wanted an exclusive platform for Bahraini farmers that is well set up and that can be used throughout the year. The biggest advantage is to create um, a platform for the farmers themselves and people, uh, consumers know that when they come to this place, they are buying uh, local fresh produce. So it's a win-win situation, I believe, for the consumer because it's the highest level of freshness and for the farmer because there is no competition. It's only the Bahraini farmer that has this beautiful setup for themselves. The project includes 48 stands for selling local agricultural products and it gives priority to Bahraini farmers through providing support, training and encouraging them to invest in this field in order to make national agricultural products. The role of Temkin in this project is actually we contributed towards building the whole um, market as well as we contribute financially towards um, the running costs of the, of the market. We just want to make sure that the farmer from, that the Bahraini farmer doesn't have to pay a humongous, uh, a very large sum in order to rent one of these kiosks out. So what they pay now is something very negligible and that's where our role comes in. We want to make sure that they don't only have a place for their products, but they also are able to make their business something that is profitable. Uh, the project is the farmer's market. Uh, it, is, uh, it is basically a farmer's incubator. It offers uh, 38 kiosks for local producing Bahraini farmers, uh, as well as some additional elements that uh, ensure that we have an environment that is welcoming for guests. So there are restaurants, cafes, seating areas, the whole place is air conditioned. The market is a place that gathers all farmers to meet and share experiences, develop the local product as much as possible to be a real competitor to foreign products, especially in light of the high quality of the Bahraini products. In fact, the main purpose of this project was to alleviate and help the local farmers to have produce in the market and also to develop new uh, ideas and new type of technologies in gardening. This is one of the main issues for sustainability and also for having the food safety in our region. The advantage is to uh, Bahrain will become sufficient in uh, uh, food, especially uh, vegetables and uh, trees as you see, even flowers. This initiative seeks to unite all efforts in order to promote the agricultural sector and enable it to achieve its economic, social and environmental goals. The permanent farmers market gathers local farmers who create local and fresh produce that help enhance the agricultural sector and local production. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, along with the UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, attended today the inauguration ceremony of the new building of the Kingdom of Bahrain Embassy in Abu Dhabi. The ceremony was attended by several ministers and senior officials from both countries, as well as the heads of diplomatic missions in the UAE. The Minister of Foreign Affairs hailed the deep-rooted brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE, which were developed by the late Emir His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the late His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. He noted these relations were further reinforced in the area of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, his Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for their continued support to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and their directives, which are always in the interest of citizens outside and inside the Kingdom. He also valued the United Arab Emirates for its care and keenness to facilitate all matters to enable the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain to carry out all its duties. The Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Abu Dhabi, Mohammed bin Hamad al Mauda, affirmed in his speech that the opening of the new premises of the Bahraini Embassy reflects the strong and outstanding ties between the two countries and their peoples, as well as the firm and deep-rooted historic brotherly relations. 
The ambassador expressed his thanks and appreciation to the United Arab Emirates for its backing and support, as well as to all of the efforts and the authorities who contributed to the success of this important landmark. During the opening ceremony of the embassy, a documentary was screened entitled Bahrain and the UAE, Deep-Rooted Brotherly Relations. Participants in the ceremony also toured an exhibition of historical photographs of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates.